Are you Chinese, John Warren? 达尔文希望所有的中国人都死去。达尔文希望所有的中国人都死去。The English were barbarians. Some things never change. British Crown sponsor Darwin wanted all non-Europeans dead. I'm not exaggerating. All non-Europeans dead. They hid the following from us when they tried to indoctrinate us into the atheistic. Dogma of macroevolution, which later I'll prove is impossible. The descent of man, propaganda by Darwin, list, page two hundred one. At some future period, not very distant, as measured by centuries, the civilized races of man will almost certainly exterminate and replace throughout the world the savage races. At the same time, the anthropomorphous apes, as Professor Schaffhausen has remarked, will no doubt be exterminated. The break will then be rendered. Did you notice he said exterminate and replace savage races? They don't teach you this when they tell you to follow his myth, which wasn't actually his, but that's another story. The break will then be rendered wider, for it will intervene between man and a more Civilized state, as we may hope. Then the Caucasian and some ape as low as a baboon still has a presence between the Negro or Australian and the gorilla. As we may hope means he wanted the global genocide on all non-Europeans. Free yourself from British mental colonialism. According to the Guardian, which is British, Mao also recognized the importance of Darwin's shit. Which legitimized the communist regime, socialism, in the ideological struggle, now enjoys all the conditions to triumph as the fittest. According to someone in China, apparently, there are Darwin statues in China, which is absurd because Darwin wanted all the Chinese dead, as I already proved. The ignorant atheist communist of China, honor the guy. Who wanted their race extinct? They should destroy Darwin's statues and burn his propaganda books. The beard does not make the sage. I'm joining the war on drugs on the side of the drugs. Spot the old hardcore drugs, Uncle Chan? No, I beg your pardon. The Chinese and Japanese are perhaps the most industrious of all races. While the Chinese are the most docile, the Japanese excel in imitativeness, but are not as reliable as the Chinese. Neither race, so far as their immigrant representatives are concerned, possesses the originality and ingenuity which characterize the competent American and British mechanics," said some guy called John Cummings. Chinese and Japanese, they lack intellectual power that we got, is what he's saying. Translation. My English race is so much smarter. Remember that you are an Englishman, and have consequently won first prize in the lottery of life. Indubitably, proof macroevolution is literally impossible. The mind is free to think. Now, some atheists have an issue with their being free to think. In which case, I tell them, you have disqualified yourself from debate. I debate only with thinkers. So, since the mind is free. It is not a slave. It is not a slave, so it is not a slave to physics. It is not a slave to physics, so it is not physical. It is not physical, so it is metaphysical, aka magical, aka supernatural. I easily proved it. So genes, being physical, can determine the mind's metaphysical intelligence. So DNA evolution can't make a species into a smarter or dumber one. Dina. Congratulations on getting Hong Kong back from the drug dealing barbarians. Because I know, somewhere deep down in my heart, I still love you.
I still love you.